an internal name. It is very, very important that you aptly and descriptively name all your controls uh, so you uh, and Maya recognizes them later when you refer to them. Um, then I create a button. So in that same column layout, I create a button. Um, the label on that button is turn off specular. The command is another procedure which we still have to create. So the cre that, that procedure, what is that going to do? That is obviously going to set this button. So it's going to turn off the procedure, uh, sorry, turn off the specular. That is the only thing that it is going to do. Um, so what does that mean? That I create a button and uh, if the user hits that button, then um, it's going to check which items are selected in the text scroll list and it's going to uh, execute this procedure which is called turn off, uh, turn off specular uh, on the selected items. Again, an internal name on uh, the button on the UI control. And then here I call a procedure which is called populate TSL. TSL is my standard, my personal, but I use it, uh, it's, it's a bit of a personal standard. TSL stands for text scroll list. So every, instead of, because text scroll list is a bit of a long word, instead when I refer to text scroll list, I call it TSL. Um, I have uh, other ones, you know, if I'm talking about a frame layout, it's uh, uh, RF, uh, FRL, uh, and so on just you know this is a, a, a personal preference but I use that consistently throughout my code uh, for myself obviously so I don't have to write out these names and uh, after you know coding for a couple of months you know that DSL stands for text scroll list and so on so that is that procedure that procedure just creates the UI it doesn't do anything so we have two uh, aside from creating the UI it doesn't do anything so we have two more procedures to write one procedure will put the selected or sorry the lights inside the text scroll list and the other procedure will like i said before check which items are selected and turn off the specular on those selected items so let's have a look first um, at the uh, procedure that will populate the text scroll list so the first line that i that we do here is we create a variable so a variable is a dynamic storage place in which you can store, um, in which you can store data. In this case, we're going to store a, a string array. So a string is basically words or letters, uh, if you want, um, and as a data type. You have other data types, uh, as you probably know, if you've done a little bit of ML. Uh, you have integers, which are whole numbers. You have floats, which are fractional numbers. You have vectors, uh, which are a, a tree. Uh, three float numbers, you have matrices, and so on. In this case, because in Maya you have to explicitly declare your variable, which means that you have to tell Maya beforehand what kind of data you will store inside that variable. Um, so it's going to be a string. Why is it going to be a string? Because it's going to be spotlight one or directional light four or, you know, that kind of uh, data, meaning words. And then what we're going to store in it is we're going to list uh, all the lights. So LT is a flag on the LS command. So if we go to the LS command and then we check, let me just make this a little bit smaller. Um, we check uh, la, 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 lights, uh, lights, there we go. So well, lights, what this is going to do is going to list all light shapes. So that is exactly what we need. So it's going to list all the light shapes, which means if we would, for example, create new lights. So let's say that we go create. Uh, let's delete these first. Let's say that we create some new lights. So let's say a point light, volume light, and a directional light. So we have now three lights in the scene, and that means that if I execute this command, it's going to tell me these are the lights in the scene. Because what this command does, like, uh, like we mentioned before, it just lists all the lights in the scene. This is not dependent on a selection, it's just going to list all the lights in the scene. Now that we have stored these uh, lights into a, a string array, the next thing that we have to do is we have to loop through the string array. As you will remember, an array means that you have a list of objects. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to 
loop through that list of objects and we're going to add each one to the text scroll list. So how do you do that? In this case, we're going to use a for loop. We're going to use a, um, a variable which, uh, strictly speaking, you don't have to declare. This is the syntax of a for loop. So you basically define a variable which is the single element in that loop and then you loop through the array that you want to loop through. So what we're going to do is, uh, first we're going to list all the lights, we're going to store those in a string array, and then we're going to loop through the string array, and each element that, we, that is in that string array, we're going to put that in the text scroll list. How do you add something to a, a text scroll list? You use the text scroll list command, you put it in edit mode, which means you want to edit an existing text scroll list, the text scroll list is the text, uh, sorry, is the light TSL, which is obviously the light TSL that we created in the um, in the light UI procedure, um, and then we just append that element of that uh, string array to the text scroll list. So we append each element. This here is each light is obviously the name of the variable that we have here, and we just append it to um, the text scroll list. So what does that mean? That means that if we execute this UI and you will see that the populate TSL, the popu populate text scroll list, this is this procedure obviously, gets called right before the window gets created. Because you create a window, then you create the content of that window and then you use the show window command to actually show the window. So what you do normally, uh, or what we do in this case, is before we show the window, we check which lights are in the scene, and then we loop through each light uh, in the scene and we put it in the text scroll list. It is obviously important that you put your text scroll list command in edit mode, which means you want to edit an existing text scroll list, which you specify. Uh, so obviously you have to tell which text scroll list you want to edit. And you specify that by uh, telling its its name, which is the name that you gave here. That is why I told before that it is very, very important that you give your uh, UI controls internal names. So that is what is happening in this procedure. So again, we get a list. Uh, so we store all the lights in an array. Then we loop through that array and we add it to the text scroll list uh, as an element in the text scroll list. Then the final procedure, so you can close these procedures because we're actually not talking about them anymore. So the final procedure is this one, which is which are uh, you know called turn off specular. As you will see in the actual full mail course, um, I spend a great amount of time uh, explaining or or stressing. Um, how how important it is to give your n variables and your procedures descriptive names, uh, how important it is to maintain proper uh, formatting, proper syntax rules, and so on and so on. That is also why it is uh, very very handy to use a program like Maxia or like Mel Studio Pro or like Crimson Editor, which gives you text highlighting just to make life much easier on you. Uh, by the way, another nice feature, if you closed your procedure and you hold your mouse uh, over this little uh, square, you can actually see the content without having to open uh, the, the procedure, which is pretty cool. Kind of, you know, it's kind of like the, uh, the information panels in, in, in Houdini. Um, but anyway, this procedure, again, very simple. The first line what we do is, because what we want is, if we execute this, what we want is, we want the item selected, the item that is selected, we want to turn off the specular on that. So that means if I have selected these two items and I click that button, the specular will be turned off. Uh, will be, oh, that's the volume lines. So it will be turned off, all right? So uh, the first thing that we have to check is, and I should put in a, a, a comment here, which 